Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we continue with the Giant Killer series, looking at day two of Danny's championship split routine, which was dedicated to training arms and deltoids. This impressive photo of Danny really says it all. The thick muscular density that Danny possessed really made him a threat to his opposition during his competitive years. Many bodybuilders back then, they all had great physiques, but when we see Danny posing, we can see how important his arm and shoulder development was because it really completed his physique. It made him look absolutely massive. Just look at the size of his arms and shoulders as he poses. His whole upper body really, it just gave this illusion that he was much taller than he was, that he was larger than life, so to speak. And that's how great the giant killer really was. As mentioned in previous videos, Danny, after receiving advice from Arnold, would train each body part three times a week, hitting chest, back and legs and abs on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, and train shoulders and arms on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, which is what we're going to look at in this video. Here listed is Danny Padilla's shoulder routine, again, very similar of the golden era we see dumbbell side laterals being performed for 5 sets of 12 repetitions, press behind the neck, another staple from the golden era, 5 sets of 10 repetitions, and finally seated bent over laterals, 5 sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Occasionally Danny would add other exercises such as upright rows and any other exercise he thought he needed to perfect his physique. I have to admit that Danny's shoulder routine, although it does appear rather basic, uh, it does cover all grounds because you are hitting here the side, the rear delts, and of course the front deltoids as well. Here is Danny's arm routine, and I have to admit on seeing this the first time, the first thing that really struck me was how similar it was to Arnold's routine. It really is. Um, it's a really beautiful routine. It's really complete, I think. When we look at the exercises that he uses for biceps, such as alternate dumbbell curls, barbell curls, and concentration curls, I mean, this really just really sings Arnold, doesn't it? So he performed the alternate dumbbell curl for five sets of eight reps, barbell curls. Here he would focus mostly on really forcing as much work from his biceps as possible after you know having them pumped up with blood with the alternate dumbbell curl we can see for example that he's only using six sets of six repetitions so we're talking forced reps here and and handling some pretty heavy weight it was really to build the mass in his biceps finally the concentration curls just like arnold will be used in peaking the bicep in getting the details out again five sets were performed for eight to ten repetitions his triceps routine, again, we see here the lying triceps press, five sets of 12 reps, the triceps press down, five sets of 12 reps, and the one arm press down, another, and this is where the reverse grip, this is another exercise that was, uh, you know, it used to be covered all over the, the muscle mags of the golden era with Arnold performing the reverse grip one arm press down. It was a classic Arnold exercise, again, here performed by Danny Padilla for five sets of 12 repetitions. Danny would also train forearms, but only a few weeks out from competition, performing reverse curls for five sets of eight to 10 reps and barbell wrist curls for five sets of eight to 10 repetitions. Again, it is very interesting to note the influence of Arnold in these delts and arms programs from Danny. It is obvious that Danny really learned a lot when he came down to Gold's Gym after his first Mr. USA win in 1975. And well, of course, the result was that he basically became a pocket Arnold. That's what most people actually agree on. Danny was well known for his thick and full musculature. And of course, the training with Arnold really, really helped. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video on Danny Padilla's day two championship split, that is arms and delts routine. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so. And in the next video, we will continue listening to Danny as he talks nutrition and about his competitive years, as well as the cycles he used and much more. So stay tuned. Anyway, that's it from me. This is the golden era bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Danny Padilla's bodybuilding programs, he produced four booklets, which I am now selling through my website as eBooks, through my collaboration, of course, with Danny, including Plan to Win, My System for Successful Bodybuilding, as well as Chest and Back, Shoulders and Arms, 
and legs and abdominals, which tend to be more specialization courses. These booklets are filled with awesome knowledge from one of the bodybuilding greats, with my personal favorite being Plan to Win. This booklet is awesome. Now these four booklets are some of the most honest booklets I have ever read, because in these booklets Danny teaches you the importance of goal setting, and describes the important differences between what makes a novice, intermediate and advanced bodybuilder, and what it takes to get there. All available at www.goldenerabookworm.com. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To take full advantage of my collaborations, use code GEB20 with nspnutrition.com and vincegeronda.com as well as code BOOKWORM12 at osl.com for a discount at checkout.